This is Bob Chambers, the Multimedia Guy, and in this video we're going to be taking a quick look at Play It 2. So we'll just go quickly through it. I double click here to open that, that uh, and here we are with the open screen. First thing we want to do is create a project if you don't already have one. So we click here to create a project. And we can just uh, call it anything we like. Click there to get us started. The next step is to add a background image. And we can load an image here. Let's load this one right here. Click there. And if it's not quite as big as my screen like it is right now, let's just go down here, click there, and that then covers the entire screen. If I'd like to add background uh, extra images in the foreground, I can do that by, uh, let's just put this one on here. As you can see, here is the image. I can move it around. I can resize it on the screen itself. The next step is to, uh, let's do some drawings. Let's do a, a button. Let's create a button. And what we're going to do is make this button into a three-dimensional button. So we can uh, just choose that by clicking here. We'll make it a big image. There you can see we have a three-dimensional. Let's just put a little text on there. And um, we'll just choose the text here, which is, this is text. And then you can see we have the text on there. Now, the important thing about Play It is that we can do a number of hot spots on the screen itself. And so let's just create a hot spot right here. And uh, you can see that there's a hot spot. We actually have a square hot spot or a uh, elliptical hot spot. So we can use either one. Right click and we can either assign an action, we can edit the action, or remove the action. We can, of course, put in global hot spot options, which what that does is it allows all of the hot spots to have some type of notation so that people know where they are. Let's just take a look at the assigned actions. And as you can see, here's a, these up in here are all mouse click actions. So when you click the mouse, you get, and let's just show you, a number of different action items. And when you choose an action item, usually on this side, then it, there's going to be something to add to uh, for the notation that the person is using. Down in here, we have the mouse over actions, which we can see right here. And there's, because of the different nature of mouse over, we only have a few of the, of the action items that we're going to choose. So let's just uh, cancel that and take the next step is, of course, we could save the image here, right here. And we save it as, uh, we'll just make that home page. And so we've saved it. We could make multiple pages and uh, put navigation tools such that people could navigate between pages. And of course, we showed you the, the uh, creating the text. We could also, with the text, let's just uh, click here. And let's move that action item over there. And you can see the text that we have in there, we can actually change the text to what we'd like to have, both in font, font style, size, and the color of the text right in here. So those are the steps that we can use to do extra things. And of course, you can see I can move items around. I can move this text information around. I this text information around. I can, cannot move this once the button's been made because that is now merge that with the background information. But I could change the, the text there and, of course, the hotspot. And once I've done all of that, I can, as I've shown you, I've saved it. I can go over here and create the Make It uh, Play It software. And it, in, in here, we, we would put in our information we put in our copyright information and we can change the the version we can go over here and click on the different fonts to change the font sizes and types we can change this banner and we can of course change this banner we can put in URLs to 
when someone clicks on these banners to take them to that area, we can change this logo, the logo picture. And so we can change, put on our own title and subtitle. We can also, uh, of course, we put on our copyright information. And here, we put in the file name that we would use to open the, the file. We can password protect the file. And we can also, we'll be able to brand various items in there. And of course, this is the branding password that we have. Now, another great feature of Play It is that we have an exit up URL. And that is a URL we put in here that sends people to a website to check to see if there's been an update for the software itself. So this gives you a chance to uh, have uh, the software automatically check to see if there's an update. And if there's an update, then that will give that information to the user. We can also add the ticker tape URL. So we put that information in here. And uh, of course, down in here is where we uh, allow the editable, editable uh, information for the branded um, URLs. And finally, down in here, we can choose the type of player we want. Up in here, we have the capability of choosing a background image for the loading page. So we can just click right in here and do that. And there's a whole bunch of other little effects that we could go into. But this gives you a quick idea of what you get using the the capabilities of play it too